With the bitter cold temps, you may be tempted to use a space heater to warm your home. But after that deadly fire in the Bronx over the weekend, firefighters are urging you to do so with caution. News 9's Natalie Sapila is joining us live in our newsroom with more safety tips. Yeah, Melissa, yesterday's fire in a Bronx apartment killed 17 people, eight of whom were children and injured dozens more. Officials say it was caused by a space heater. Devastating images out of New York this weekend as an apartment fire killed dozens, all because of a space heater. I can see the flames. I can see the flames. I can see the smoke and everything, you know, and, and coming into my apartment. And officials say, sadly, this is not uncommon. There are about 1,700 fires year as a result of uh, space heaters. But as below zero temperatures leave many Wisconsinites with no choice, is it safe to use a space heater? If you're using them properly, they are. Lieutenant Cody Wiesman with the Wausau Fire Department says while there haven't been any incidents of space heater fires in Wausau lately, it can still happen. The biggest danger is that they can overheat, so your best bet is to get a newer model. And there are some that newer ones, better ones on the market, do have a, like an overheat feature, so they'll shut off if they become too hot. It's also important to make sure three feet of space is cleared around the heater and plug it into an outlet, not an extension cord. It's also good to make sure your model has the United Laboratory seal of approval, and that seal can look something like this. Really, is it okay for people to leave them on while they're away? I mean, what are their advice on that? A lot of people want to do that because they want the house to stay warm, but ew, I don't know. Yeah, well, definitely not, Melissa. Firefighters say you should never leave them running while you're not there. Turn it off and unplug it before you leave. Live in the newsroom, I'm Natalie Sapila, News 9, WAOW.